this one comes from, as a recommendation from Drama Lover 27. Uh, the title is Korean College Dance Department Releases Poster Featuring 18 Half Naked Students. Oh, I've been wanting to see this. I actually saw this one and told you that we should talk about it, and then we got as a request. And then the, that was yesterday she told me, and I still hadn't seen it until just now. Yeah, so this is the only photo. There's only one? There's only one photo. It's just this. It's a dance department at a university who decided that they were going to go topless for their promotional calendar. The women are really sexy, but there's no, there's no nudity. The closest nudity is the second one from the top left. It, oh, she's covering it with her hand, it looks like, where it's blurred. This but these girls overall are in very good shape and very sexy, very pretty, They're very attractive. They're dance majors. They're artists. Like for me, you don't really see a whole lot. You see a bunch of back, and the photo <laughs> is actually and a little bit of curve, like in the booty. Yeah, I mean, maybe like got the back. Yeah, like this bottom right one. Like she's looking pretty sexy. Well, it's the angle that she's sitting at right, too. Right. But like it's the angle that's. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's the angle. I'm liking that angle. You know, like, well, good, I'm, I'm glad. So let me guess. Korea people in general are up in arms about this. Uh, totally. <laughs> totally. They're they're attacking the university. Dude, this shit gets me heated, man. It's such a double standard when it comes to this sort of thing versus like what you see in some of these recent K-pop videos or even like K-pop videos from a few years ago. Like you can see like certain camel toe in K-pop videos and that's way more, um, you know, like, like <laughs> yeah, implying yeah. something than this is. Like, this implies art to me. Like, K-pop implies sex. Yeah, K-pop does imply sex because you. I mean, you have pole dancing. You have yeah. people grinding. Yeah. You have. Well, they stole the twerking. From, no, but like, and just like the outfits in general. Like these girls, like they can't get them any shorter at this point. Like, like they literally have to be naked to take it to the next level. Like well, that's how like mini skirt and mini like booty short and you know Daisy Duke again. Yeah, and they have the low cut. Sometimes they have like a low back or no back and they're grinding and their sexually suggestive movements are and yet, so strong compared to this. Right, and yet people are like, oh yeah, K-pop, well it helps promote Korea or Korean culture, or Korean society or the, the economy here. And anybody who's against this, like, they just don't have their head screwed on straight. And that might sound a little negative, but like, like, it's true. There's nothing wrong with this at all. Like, I get it. It's a college thing. It's a university thing. This should not be promoted by the university. I get that. So professors are helping to promote this. I don't know if professors are helping to promote this or not, but it's like, what professor said that this was okay? Probably none of them because they'd lose their job. Exactly. But, like, it's artistic. Like, I see this as artistic. You have... They did this to sell calendars so they could make money to for the department? Is that what they did? I think so. Is it a so. calendar? No, this is just like a one-shot. This is a one-shot, but What's supposedly What's that say? November 26, 7 p.m. So there's a performance. That's what it is. Yeah, it's promoting a performance. Mm. That's it for the news. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button and subscribe. And if you have any news articles that you'd like to send us, there's a link, an email, in the top of the description. And we guys, what do you think of our orange shirts? Pretty unified, huh? Dramathons. <laughs>